Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, I'm here to talk to you about one of my favorite tools, I'm sure it's everybody's favorite tool, Protractor. <laughs> Let's talk about Protractor's future. If you're up to date, you'll, you're aware that Protractor is going to be end of life in August 2023. The Angular team is gonna support it until then, but the reality is that even though there are tools that we are ready to move past, we have a lot of investment in them. There are a lot of companies represented by developers here and across the world who have significant investments in Protractor. So I'm really excited to announce that Hero Devs has partnered with the Angular team and we're gonna be providing support for Protractor until at least August 24, 2024, so you can still get critical fixes and updates in your Protractor test will still run and give you a little bit longer to make that migration that you've been probably trying to make for a long time. You can head over, <laughs> yep. You can head over to herodevs.com slash support slash Protractor for that, uh, for information about that. Now, <clears throat> we talked about, I, I mentioned that we have a significant investment in Protractor. We have a lot of tests. There are a lot of people out here who have significant quantities of Protractor tests, and you've probably had that experience where you've tried to move away from Protractor to some awesome tool like my personal favorite, Cypress. And in that attempt, you've discovered that it is a huge problem. It's a huge pain in the butt, and for some reason, Management doesn't seem to think that it's that big of a deal. And so you start the project and you're doing it maybe in your free time or your spare time at work and you get a little bit far and suddenly you're trying to run two CI, two end-to-end -end systems in your CI pipeline and that starts being a problem and maybe you end up in maintaining two versions of the same test and that's a problem. And these sorts of things are the types of situations that go for a month or two and then they just get abandoned because they realize, you realize how much effort it's actually going to be to do what needs to be done. And then you're back stuck with using something that you know isn't ideal and you want to be using something awesome like Cypress, but you can't. Now, for example here, I've, uh, ooh, this is not displaying. Here, let me. Uh, let me fix this, there we go. For example, I've got here just a typical set of tests, right? Written in Protractor. To rewrite this test and all the other tests that are around it uh, in Cypress is a, a fair amount of effort, right? And we start that process and we, maybe we do some, a couple of search and replaces, but that just breaks a bunch of tests and it's a real problem. It's so hard to move those tests over to a, a more modern tool. What would be so awesome is if we could get going on the new tool and have everything working and then slowly migrate, but only be using one tool at a time. But unfortunately, it's not as easy as just grabbing all of your tests and dragging them up into your Cypress test folder and heading over to Cypress and clicking on one of your specs to run it because we all know that you can't run unmodified protractor tests in Cyprus until now. I'd like to introduce to you Enbridge. What you saw is exactly what you think you saw. Those are truly Protractor syntax tests, so here's that test running inside of Cypress. If I change and break this test and head back over to Cypress, my test is now broken and I can now use Cypress's visualizer to walk through and see what's going on, check out the various pieces 
of this, I can pin, I could do everything that Cypress can do with my protractor tests without modification. Now this does raise a few questions. First off, is there some weird thing going on? Is Protractor running inside of Cypress? No, this is just Cypress. I can now uninstall Protractor from my project. We get every Cypress benefit using this method. We can write all of our new tests in Cypress and do that thing where, hey, let's just leave alone what we've got and we'll do our new stuff in the new tool and then eventually work back and clean up the old stuff. We can keep writing our Protractor syntax if we have to, if that makes sense. It doesn't. <laughs> but it might. And you can run both Protractor and Cypress syntax side by side inside of Cypress. You can also use the things like page objects. You don't have to modify those. They're just going to still run exactly the way they run in your Cypress syntax. In your Cypress syntax. And of course, this works with everything. If it's written in Protractor, it now runs in Cypress. Whether it's an Angular project, a React project, a vanilla JS project, or an old Angular JS project, as long as it's just written in Protractor, it now runs in Cypress. So how can you use Enbridge? Well, it's actually in beta, so we are looking for beta test partners. If you're interested in beta testing with us, head over to enbridge.dev, and you'll, head, you'll end up at the Hero Dev site, and you can sign up to be a beta test partner and help us work through our beta process until we're ready for release. And on the off chance that Cypress isn't your uh, preferred end-to-end -end testing tool, we are uh, looking for future, working towards future support for Playwright, Nightwatch, and other tools. Thank you very much.